So um, this is going to run through an example and show how Elasticsearch can be used with the graph plugin. And so hopefully we'll end up at the end of this with something that looks like this. I'm going to try and do all this in 10 minutes. So there's going to be a bunch of pauses. I'll try and give you a hint where those pauses happen. Um, the only other piece here is the repo we're going to use is a fork off the Elasticsearch examples. So this is Freeman soft examples. It's really just the Elastic examples. And we're going to sit in the movie recommendations. This is a 25 million record data set of movie recommendations for a couple years. And the goal is to load index this into Elasticsearch and, um, and basically see the graph data. So I already downloaded this running the download dot, download data dot py command. So if you run this Python command, uh, this will actually download the data. The next thing I'm going to do is actually run Elasticsearch in Docker per the readme. So I'm just going to run a Docker Compose up. I can make that a little bigger. So I'm going to run Docker Compose up on this. And uh, after that, um, we'll actually run the index ratings. So here we're just going to run Docker Compose up. This will bring up an Elasticsearch cluster with a Kibana node. So the Elasticsearch node actually came up pretty quickly. So this is the single node in this cluster. It's a 851 node, or no, I'm sorry. 851 Lucene, it's a 780 node. Um, and so that's, this is actually documented in the readme. And then we can see that we actually have the Elastic dashboard. I'm sorry, the Kibana dashboard is now up. So what we need to do here at this point, we need to index the documents. So I've just pulled another terminal window to the front. And basically what we're going to do is we're run again, run around the index under bar users.py. That will actually, I've already downloaded the data. So I pulled this terminal to the front and we can see that we have a data directory. I'm actually in the movie recommendations and we can see that we have a 400 megabyte scoring file and we have a ratings file. We have a ratings file and we have a user's file. Those are really the ones we're going to use. If we look at the scripts, uh, all we're going to do here is run, I'm going to run time, Python, uh, well, there it is, index users.py. And we'll see how long this will take, and I'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so I only indexed the uh, users here, and so that was 160,000 users that were reviewed, and that took seven minutes. So I can verify the number of rows we got in here. I'm just going to do a quick count against this uh, index. And we can see here that the count is 162,541. If you can't see that, that's my fault for not making the print bigger. So now we're going to create an index. So I'm actually going to go here, use Elasticsearch data, connect to your Elasticsearch index. And we're going to create a new one. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in, well, we're just going to pick Movie Lens users. It says that uh, our index matches, uh, index pattern matches one index. We go to the next step. We're actually going to pick, I don't want to use a time filter. And click the indexing, and we'll let that in create its indexing pattern. So we can scroll through this here. Uh, we can see the various fields that were picked out. And the way this data actually looks is we have a person, each person has all the things they reviewed, all the things they liked, all the movies they didn't like. Different. Let's go to discover. We actually have the index that we had built before. So we can actually see here that basically for each user, there's a list of everything they've rated, all the years they rated, what they disliked, what they liked, what they were indifferent. Um, and what years they liked. And this is not time series data. This is basically a set of JSON that got indexed 
where each person's reviews, and you'll notice these aren't in a date sequence. So this is a little unusual for um, Elasticsearch, or a lot of times you do time series data. So we're actually going to want to do a graph for this. We came through the dashboard. No, we didn't come through any of these. So now I want to pull up a graph piece. I want to look at this data in a graph form. We're going to click on graph. And it shows that our basic license is not enough to support graph. So what I need to do is go to Elasticsearch Management. If we go to Stack Management, and we go to License Management, we end up to see that we are actually on a basic license. If we say Start the Trial, Start My Trial, It'll give us a trial license. So we can, we're pretty good here with this. If we go back to here and we click on the graph, we'll now have a trial license to see graph. We're going to create our first graph. We're going to select the data source, which is the data source that we created before. And, and we're going to add fields. In this case, I, what I want to do is I want to pick liked. And then we're going to graph for the top terms, but that's really not what I want. So I want to see who liked and disliked that rated Rocky. So the graph is currently empty if I were to hit return here. And the Explore tool is really a little weird. It seems like sometimes it just is a cumulative add, so I end up undoing. All right, so these would be, and this feels really small. We had an exploration timeout, so I feel like this has got to be bigger with the amount of data we got. So my question was, who liked Rocky Star? And I meant Rocky the movie, but I ended up here with Rocky Horror Picture Show. So if anybody rated Rocky, what else did they like? And the thickness of the lines represents how many people, how many people did the same thing. So if, and I meant this to be Rambo originally, but like, so if I were to pick Rocky Horror Picture Show here, I can see that some people disliked how, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and the people that did that also disliked Howard the Duck. They disliked uh, Superman Four, but they liked First Rambo, um, and so. And they apparently liked Poltergeist if they disliked it. And so one of the questions is, hey, why are there no, so here's another one down here, right? So when I said I want liked and disliked and we did Rocky, I got Rocky Horror Picture Show. It turns out these people hated Rocky Horror Picture Show. And so they liked and disliked these other movies. If we come down here, we can see that we have Rocky Horror Picture Show where people liked it, and we can get a feel for the different what what they liked what they liked and didn't like if they liked Rocky Horror versus when they didn't like Rocky Horror. Here, I want to see get a feel for the users that like Superman. What else did they like? I removed the dis un the disliked field, and I only left this. If I click on this. This will give you a feel for the most liked movies by people that like Superman. So if they liked Superman, uh, they like Superman too, right? And we can get a feel for that if we click here. We can get a feel for the 20, 200, 2,449 like Superman and 2 and 6,000 like S Superman and 1,600 people liked both. And we can get the same thing. So apparently people that like Superman also like RoboCop, which I don't really understand. So anyway, so this gives you a basic idea unless you can play with the graph database. And that's all there is to it.